In our foundry in Prospect Harbor, we cast all our bells in bronze. Our molds are made from a mixture of fine sand, clay, and water. When it is packed against a pattern, the sand retains an impression into which we can pour the melted bronze and create our casting. Here Newman is finishing the mold that's going to be in some of our small bells. Once it's packed firmly, he takes the top half away and you can see the shape of the outside of the bells. He's putting in some vent holes. That makes the bronze fill the mold a little more easily. And there on that bottom you can see the cores which fit neatly into the outer shape of the bell. And it's closed back up. Next, we put that mold on a pouring table and put a jacket around it which supports the sand from the molten bronze and a weight on top which keeps the top half from floating when you pour the bronze in. Now you see he's pouring bronze in which is about 2200 degrees Fahrenheit, good and hot. Once the molds are filled, you'll break them out. <coughs> Knock all the loose sand away, and then you have to cut all those pieces away from the gates and runners. Here are some castings getting ready to have all the machine work done. There's quite a bit of finish work involved in this process. Drilling holes to assemble the bells. And then there's a lot of grinding and polishing to get them all up to the final appearance that you see in the finished part, products. Here's some, all the clappers and hanging parts and brackets. And we all put all that into the tumbler and patina it and polish and highlights. And the final stage is assembling them to get, make the finished bells. These rings we make from raising rod into a long spring and then cut them apart. And finally we can put them all together and get a, in this case it's a three inch wind bell. And that's Maggie who does all this fine finish work for us. In our gallery you can see samples of all the bells we make here in Prospect Harbor. Thanks very much for watching.